Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Tuesday. Colorado Attorney General Phil Weiser is protesting the merger of Frontier and Spirit Airlines. Weiser wrote a letter to Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg saying without competition between the airlines, there will be fewer incentives to address complaints and treat customers fairly. Frontier and Spirit announced a merger last month. It still needs to be approved by regulatory agencies. Boulder County is making some progress cleaning up debris from the Marshall Fire. The county says it has finished applying hydro mulch to properties in Louisville and Superior. The mulch helps prevent toxins from the ash and debris from being moved by wind or running into local waterways. There's also a hearing in the lawsuit over the county's debris removal contract. It's happening next Friday. The suit claims the county commissioners improperly held executive sessions to talk about the contract with the company based in Louisiana. The debris removal process was supposed to start last week. And Vail is extending its ski season to May 1st. This will be the resort's longest season in its history. Vail says it's received close to 16 feet of natural snow for the season. 97% of its terrain is open. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. And more snow to come here over the next couple of days. We're tracking another storm that's going to bring actually some pretty moderate to heavy snow to the mountains. This morning, though, we're waking up to clear skies. It's cold. Teens feels like single digits as you step out the door. A decent warm up, though, and today is actually going to be the warmest day of the work week. We'll see highs in the upper 30s to low 40s across the plains this afternoon. Denver between about four and five o'clock will be right around 40 degrees, some 20s to low 30s in the mountains. So it's not warm. It's still below normal, but it's quite a bit warmer than what we've seen over the past few days. Now we are tracking another storm. It's going to bring snow to the mountains. It looks like starting tonight and we're going to start to see some of that snow across the plains Wednesday and Thursday, and it gets cold again before we're in store for a weekend warm up.